Uh, g'day sports fans, you might remember we're building this cell and um, I'm going to be testing that today. There's the old um, bubbler, you might have seen the video on, on that. Uh, and the old um, HHO meter for measuring the flow. A couple of meters. And uh, been having uh, trouble with the A computer power supply, the ATX power supply. It puts out 12 volts, 40 amps, but um, it's really not up to the uh, deal there. The voltage drops right off, and uh, I was looking at some new power supplies. And it's anything up to about 50 or 60 amps. Um, read the 13.6 volts, I guess, something like that is uh, quite expensive. It's cheaper just to go and get a welder. So I bought a DC uh, TIG stick welder there, and um, that was like $208. So that's like a just a constant uh, current source, and it's fabulous. I've had tested it already, and um, on the scope it's just a, it puts out a pure DC with, with no ripple, and uh, it's a current source. So whatever current you set up, that's um, what it delivers. So what we're doing is measuring the the voltage um, cross the cell here from the negative to the um, positive so the outside everywhere, everywhere around the outside is the positive so um, that's going into this meter here and um, it'll be measuring uh, volts on that scale so the current coming out of the uh, current source is uh, coming in through all the uh, outer outer uh, rings of the so it's a Joe cell I guess we can call it now um, out through the center the centers are all linked through this um, spider arrangement so that's measuring the, the negative there um, the actual negative powers comes out through a metering shunt so the shunts uh, 0 0.01 ohms so that's going to um, your basic ohms law um, to measure the voltage across this known resistance is quite accurate so um, 1 millivolt equals 1 amp at that rate so we'll monitor that on uh, this scale so it's going to be written in millivolts and um, we'll, we'll see how that works quite accurate from there, it's just back out of the, um, the ground. Don't worry, it's red. Everything's red around here. Um, back into our power supply. Negative there. I recommend anyone looking for a decent uh, power supply go and get one of these um, DC inverter welders, and for about 200 bucks, I saw one for 130 on uh, eBay. I didn't want to wait for it to come from China, and this is a, a decent um, brand, supposedly with Japanese components. So that's great. We'll um, have a look at the cell while we're here. I think we saw that concentric uh, stainless steel tubes there, and there's like seven of them, uh, the size is going quarters, so it starts on half inch uh, tube and then like three quarters, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters and finally uh, two, two of those outer ones are two inch um, tubes there and everything there is uh, supposedly 316 stainless, so 316 L and uh, let's turn power on see what happens here. Okay, one of the meters are reading, um, that's 7.2 amps. Just move the decimal place over one. It's uh, got 15 volts now across the cell. Getting a little bit of um, bubbler action. Not much. Let's put that in the fly meter there. Okay, we'll just crank.
crank up the juice a bit. Somewhere around 20 amps. Uh, like this is in amps again. 20.07 amps. Voltage cross cells now going up to 16. Output's going pretty good. I might measure that output. And we'll go on the uh, known leader leaderage there and uh, that'll rise up. Whoops, we don't want to do that. Cause pressure in there. And off we go now. Start a timer. seconds. You can probably speed along on your uh, YouTube. You can measure the time on your YouTube anyhow. And it's just about there. That black line's one litre when it gets to the uh, surface of the water. Okay, 40, uh, 40 seconds. Reset that. Okay, current's uh, actually going up a bit. No temperature in the cell. It'll probably get better when it warms up. We'll warm it up with a bit more current. Up to about 40 amps. Right, so the meters change scales now. We're, um, that's 40, 42 amps there. 16.8 volts across the cell. It's fairly bubbling away there. Pressure, um, of course we're uh, outputting the gas through a 0 0.6 uh, mid tip here. Um, it's restricting the flow. The flow is uh, causing pressure in the system to build up and run like uh, three and a half, four psi. Check the flow again on uh, up to 45.1 amps and uh, check the flow again just by closing the lid. It's easy enough. I just count it in my head. seconds or so. So that's like uh, 3 litres a minute for uh, 46 amps there now. I'll reset that. Just let it sit there loose. Still temperatures still pretty much just ambient. We'll try about 60 amps current. Okay, so that's like uh, 62. It's not much of a control on the welder to control this current. That's uh, set on as well about 60, so it's quite accurate. See the cells? Hardly anything looks like it's happening there. Out of the cell, going through this, uh, you might notice there's, there's like six ports on top of the cell. Now, I don't need six ports for this, I just need one. I've got three, three of these are like down tubes going to the base, which is in the liquid. The other three, that's the outlet, and so is uh, that and that. 
so I've just bypassed two of them at the moment. I'm, I'm not using that set. This will, this will be set up for um, pumping fluid through and eliminating the um, liberating the gas off the cell plates uh, better. So I'm going to have like three uh, inlets which distributes the, the fresh fluid um, evenly around the base of all the cells. And um, then I've got three outlets. I don't really need three, but they're there if, if I want to have a uh, interconnect some another cell and uh, it just comes out into the bubble which goes to the base of the bubble that's dispersed through um, small point, um, 0.8 holes, mill holes and um, comes out of the outlet to the and that's just like a flashback that's got some uh, Inconel um, wire in there and it's packed full of it um, lengthways so it, it acts as a flashback arrestor and um, going through the torch and in, into the um, bubbler Okay, back to the uh, where is what we've got there um, 60, 65.3 amps and uh, 16.9 across the cell the voltage or, uh, let's see what sort of flow we get there seal the cap on that and then the timer can start there Fifteen seconds, I reckon. So that's about four liters a minute. Cells only slightly warmer than what the ambient temperature is today, which, by the way, is about twenty-three or something. Take the current up a bit more, maybe. Set on about 90 amps there, so, ooh, so that's 100 amps there. You've got to watch the pressure doesn't uh, increase too much. It's having trouble coping through the through the uh, 0 0.6 mig, mig tip in this torch. We'll quickly do a flow check on 100 amps. It's actually 106 amps and 17.4 uh, volts. I reckon about nine or maybe uh, ten seconds there, so that's um, I think over uh, cells hardly working up a sweat. Pressure's uh, rising, so we might go off off the. Um, the HHO meter, reset that. So we know we're getting over uh, over six amps currently. Well, yeah, it's it's really uh, going off. The pressures. I can regulate the pressure with this control here, but I'm not going to. I'll reduce the current if I have to. I just want to try and get the cell action on top, the, it's hardly working up a sweat. It's not even warm. Yeah, she's going all right. So the next step is to get a uh, pressure pump, build another cell similar to that bubbler that'll um, circulate the fluid through the, the cell and um, that that compart that um, container, which will be pressurised also of course, so we able to add additives to the um, the gas path there, like uh, I want to try some different hydrocarbon uh, additives. Well, like the torch. Well, kids, stay more clear. Oh, yeah, it's hammering. We wind the current down a bit. 
take the current. I'll just wound it back down a bit, 80 amps. That torch right there for now. The beauty of having the gas at this pressure, you know, you know wound the current down to, um, what's that, 76 amps, and, uh, the pressure's reduced accordingly. I don't like the pressure being up around 10 psi, and there's no need for it yet. We can see here the flame is um, not the old orange flame anymore. It's turning to the blue flame. The combustion's the combustion's all happening outside of the, or well, mainly I'm getting the blue blue there, which we don't get on the low flows. The that's still cool to the touch, that that tip, because the uh, previously with the low pressure, when you've got the low pressure, the uh, actual flame is inside the tip or inside the torch and it gets very hot. Now with the pressure and the flow, the flame's occurring outside of the tip and uh, like an exo burn there happening, so we'll just turn that off. Put that back there. So we can have a cigarette, so I uh, don't want to blow the place up. Okay, guys, well, that's about it. I like to uh, wind the current down gently a bit there on it. Oh, now back on uh, 11.6 amps, that is 14 volts. So one of the main things that we're seeing happen here is you've got to have a decent current source uh, to, to power those cells, keep the current up. When we're using the brute force method, um, it's just a matter of more juice there. And in that welder, I, I'd recommend anyone get one of those for their uh, HHO experiments. Definitely the way to go. Well, that's about it for now, folks. So. Uh, Thanks for watching.